Hi there, welcome to our little paracording channel. Um, today we're going to be taking a walking stick that's been carved and we're going to wrap a paracord handle of about 30 feet of it on there and we're going to show you how to do it beginning to end. So first you take your walking stick, you take your paracord, you wrap one end of the paracord around three times. After you do that, you take the paracord and you go around the end loop over the second and under the third. Then you pull it. And when you pull it tight, I don't know if you can see this, but it basically looks like the knot when you're tying a shoe. But instead of there just being two strings, there's three. So there's like two loops. And we're going to do it one more time just to make sure that you get it. And we're going to do it slow. So take it off one more time and you go around it once, twice, three times. Then you go around the first loop, over the second one, and around the third, and you pull it tight, just like you would shoelaces if you were tying a shoe for the loops. Okay, and when that's done, you can take a piece of tape, and you can tape down that end to the walking stick because it'll just make it easier. It won't get in the way. Okay, then what you do is you, you tighten that knot, make sure it's nice and secure there, and then you start to weave it on there. So in order to weave it on there, I'm gonna adjust the camera a little. You have to flip Put your hand in front of the camera more so we can see it. You're, you're going to take the string and you're basically going to just flip it around your fingers. And the important thing when you're doing this step, it's just like uh, knitting or crocheting or anything like that. The whole trick is you have to do it exactly the same way each time. So when you flip it around your fingers, whether you go over or under, you need to do it the same exact way each time. Okay, then you tie it on there and tighten it and you do it again. You flip it around your fingers, wrap it around the item you're wrapping the cord on, pull it taut, and then you tighten it by pulling it forward. You can put your thumb on the tightened part so it stays tight. After you pull it, you bend it down and put your thumb on that end. Right there, you put your thumb on and you do it again. So wrap it around, tighten it, and then when it's kind of taut, you pull it forward to tighten it further. And then you put your thumb on here when you pull it back a little, just to hold it taut before you do the next one. So again, you wrap it around again, put it on a stick or a handle or whatever it is you're wrapping, and then you tighten it and you do it again. Okay, so we're going to do some more of this. As you can see up close, it's starting to make like a little braid from the first knot that'll spiral around your stick. So we're going to do a little bit more, turn it back on, and show you where we're at. Okay, so as you can see, it's starting to um, do that little ridge or knot that starts to give the appearance that it's twisting around. Um, so now we have about maybe three or four more minutes to go, so we're going to keep knotting but this is what it should look like. So that was the beginning. And as you tighten it, it just keeps spiraling around. Okay, and then when you're finally done, you get to the end of wrapping your handle with a paracord. You take the difference. This is just an easy loop knot that we do. And then you make sure that, the, um, that there's extra at the very end, like two or three inches at the end from this point right here. See how when you folded this over, it was like three inches extra. Then you just take it and you make a, a circle and you feed the end of the paracord through the circle like you would when you're doing a water balloon. Only before you tighten it, you have to make sure that the knot is as close to the last um, knot that you did 
and that's because that's going to hold it securely in place. So if it's not, if there's a gap there, then you're not going to have, a, this is a very good knot. See how the knot comes right at the end of the paracord? That's exactly what you want. And it's not that hard to take out, so if you need to access your paracord, you won't go crazy trying to figure out how to undo it. So this is the whole completed paracord. There's like a handle with a knot, and then as you see, it's it just twists all the way up and down. And here you can see the end of the the taped part that we um, from the very beginning. Anyway, good luck with your project. Well, thank you for watching. Bye.